Hello guys, Protag Shylux here, and I'm feeling like shit, I'm sick, and I wasn't even planning on recording today, but I encountered this random showcase right here when I was just playing Roblox, and I decided, huh, you know what, I think it's time for episode 10 of Roblox Showcase Visits. So, uh, here we are. So, this first one is ULS Avalon. Let's begin. On docking from station. Alright, so this is the loading screen, everything looks to be in order. Enjoy your stay. I will. Alright, let's see here. Whoa, where am I? Okay, so there's appears to be some sort of pod bay door. Oh, it's a bed shutter. Huh. Why do beds need to be in pods like this, though? I mean, I guess that prevents you from being murdered in your sleep. Except it doesn't because people can just open it from the outside. Let's see. Okay. Uh, wait. Well, I made to click on something. Oh. Oh, hey, it covered for books and everything. That's pretty futuristic. Alright. Nice room. Alright. And there's just a hologram of U. UI Scooty, whatever that is. Let's see. Orbiting UI Scooty. Okay, so let's see what's this. So this is the bathroom. Hmm. It has a futuristic shower. Can we take a shower? Do you think people will still need showers in the year 3000 or whatever this game takes place? <laughs> Alright, I'm going to be burping a lot because I had just had lunch a few minutes ago. Anyway, let's see here. Alright, okay, so we appear to be right next to his son. I'm sure that's not dangerous at all. Let's see, what's in here? Ooh, workers. I guess this place must be under construction or something. The description did say that the showcase would be worked on once in a while. I don't think it's finished right now, but uh, yeah, let's see. Attention, the core temperatures are critically high. Please begin the evacuation procedures. All personnel must proceed to the nearest exit. Oh god, is that true? Damn, that's cool. Okay, so let's find the exit then. All right, so that guy's working on his stuff. Okay, let's see what's here. Last door. What is this? Is this the core? That appears to be a hologram of the planet we're currently uh, on. Operate blast door. Okay. Let's see, where's this? Where's this? Where's this? Where? Where are we going exactly? You have a beard for some reason. Why do you look so evil? You look like a fucking evil space lord. Okay. Oh. Oh shit, so, uh, I don't know what those numbers mean. Okay, so radioactive, sure, let's go in. I'm sure nothing bad ever happens in radiation. Okay, what the fuck? What, what's with the smoke? Are those radiation cleaners or something? Okay. Oh boy, okay, yeah, sure, let's go in. Wow, okay, so it does damage my health, but... It doesn't immediately instant kill me, which I thought it would. Anyway, uh, yeah. That was the Avalon, I guess. Uh, let's move on to the next one. Here's one you've probably heard of. Oh, Life of an Otaku. I was going to say Otaku Simulator, but that's not its name. Anyway, yeah. This is a very interesting showcase. I've, uh, I played it off camera for a bit. And, uh, you know what? Let me just show you. Alright, so this is the game. We just started out. Let's see. Hmm. It's actually very hard to see. Yeah, I can see this figure right here. Uh, I mean, this game would be an amazing showcase if it wasn't so fucking hard to see. It's, everything's so blurry and foggy and I can't zoom out. Okay, but that's, uh... Anyway. Alright, I got an achievement. This is my closet, I guess. Okay, so apparently we're in a traditional Japanese home with uh, sliding doors, you know. This is, seems to be an old-style house, because I'm pretty sure they have normal homes in Japan right now. I don't live in Japan, so don't take my word for that. But uh, yeah, they have sliding doors and windows like this in Japan. So I guess that's the way we live. We live in Japan. Let's see, what's this? Okay. Is that the is that our house right there? So there appears to be a tire. Use hinge door. Okay, I seriously cannot see anything. Those boards made of planks might work. Oh, that's right. I forgot that this is uh, this is an old safe I'm using. I continued the game off. I 
I originally recorded Life of an Otaku. I was originally going to record this about a week ago, but uh, some of my recording was interrupted and uh, I decided to postpone it. But anyway, yeah, I was planning on doing the first part of Life of an Otaku. Anyway, let's grab the tank boards. I just need a hammer and some nails. Alright, cool, where are they? Okay, let's close this door. Seriously, it is very hard to see. I'm not, I'm not sure if that's how it's supposed to look. I'm not sure if it's supposed to symbolize something, but, uh, yeah. I think I may need glasses to play this. Ugh. God, I really hate the fog. This showcase would be much better if it was a lot more vibrant. But whatever, you know, whatever. It's this guy's game. He can do whatever he wants. It's just that, ow, it hurts. Okay, so I forgot where we're going. Okay. Okay. No, actually, where am I going? So this is the garden right here. I think it's a garden. I can't see shit. Okay, so anyway, I needed to repair a hole in the floor. Okay, so let's do that. Repair floor. Hammer, 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 hammer. Now, one thing you may notice about this showcase is that, unlike most showcases, it has actual gameplay in it. That took longer than I expected. We'll get to bed before it gets any later. Yeah, sure. What is? Oh, hey, look! It's that scarecrow from that movie, uh, Howl's Moving Castle. I just watched that Studio Ghibli movie a few months ago, actually. Oh, uh, I watched it back in November of 2018. So it wasn't really that many months ago since I last watched it. But damn, though, I get this reference now. It's the scarecrow from Howl's Moving Castle, the one where that girl kisses and he turns into a prince. What's your favorite Studio Ghibli movie? Tell me in the comments below. But anyway, uh, it appears to be dark, so let's go back to bed, I guess. Yes. God, I wish I could see shit. Okay. Wait, I just realized, why is the kitchen connected to the bedroom? Is that just how it works in Japan? I have never heard of that before. The, the living room is supposed to connect all the rooms together, but the kitchen isn't really supposed to be connected to anything other than the living room. But okay, you know what? The kitchen right next to the bedroom, that's fine. You can get a midnight snack. So let's go over here and sleep. Alright. Well, that was Life of an Otaku. Let's move on to the next one. This next one is Fentanest. I don't know what that means, but these are Korean letters. You can tell they're Korean because of the shape they are. Very simplified shapes with circles and shit. Anyway, let's play. Uh, okay. A bit weird. Some weird ass music. There appears to be a mask on the wall. Let's see. Taking small doses. Huh. Okay, I really like what I've seen so far. My first 3D art. Really? This is a 3D art? Well, okay. Uh. Oh, is that it? Is this just this one room? Okay. So it appears to be some sort of Korean apartment building, I'm guessing. And there appears to be some sort of glowing umbrella thing. Is that a cane? What is this? I'm not sure what I'm looking at right now. Okay, let's see. I fear the end. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Okay, well, sorry, I will shut up. Okay. And is this some sort of gas mask or something? Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't look like something that would fit on your head, though. A bit unrealistic. And, uh... Okay, so those are headphones, clearly. And I appear to be uh, editing a video. What? How did they know? Tristam, once again. Okay. And I have my bowl of noodles right here left on the table. Uh, I enjoy being alone until I'm lonely. You know what? Too true, man. Too true. We all enjoy being alone, but none of us enjoy being lonely. Okay, anyway. Let's look out the window some more. Uh, okay. In the thumbnail, this game was written in Korean letters, but those look very Chinese to me. Japanese, even. Um, is this supposed to be an amalgamation of Asian culture? Okay. So we had to go up the ladder and into some sort of secret outcove. Okay. I really like the details of this showcase. It's very packed for such a small map. Very... Every single bit of detail packed into a small package. And that's good. Anyway, 
nothing more to be said here. Let's move on to the next one. Let's see. This next one is Vanished. I think I may have played this one before in the past, but I'm not sure. Let's begin. Okay, so this is the showcase. This is it. This is literally the entire showcase. I'm pressing the arrow keys. I'm pressing WASD. I'm not moving at all. This game won't let you move. So that's it. It's just this one scene. Uh, I mean, it's a pretty detailed scene, but all in all, this is one of the most boring showcases I've ever played. And not because you can't move, okay? You don't have to move in a showcase, since it's literally just an art piece that you look at anyway. But see, I've seen better. Come on, you can do better, man. This is literally just a bunch of terrain, and you have a car buried under snow, and some sort of glowy thingies. I mean, I'm pretty sure even I could make something like this. I'm not going to try, but I know I can. You know what, this is my thumbnail, though. Anyway, uh, yeah, that was Vanished. Uh, let's just move on to the next one. Okay, so we're not going to play this showcase right now. This is Fragments of My Melted Past. The reason why I've decided against playing it is because there are lots of other Fragments of My Melted Past games, and I think it would be better to fit them all into one video. So, uh, yeah, this is just a bit of an announcement. I'm going to do Fragments of My Melted Past, all the showcases, in one showcase video. So, uh, let me show you the one I'm actually going to do. 5 a.m. Is this going to be a horror showcase? At least it's not 3 a.m. Alright, let's play. I was worried I might have played this one before, but I don't remember this one. I mean, a lot of these showcases are coming back to me. They're all pretty much the same. Anyway, so, uh, yeah. This is 5 a.m. It's probably like 5 a.m. in the morning, or... Fuck, is that a.m. or p.m.? I don't know, I don't know. Let's see. First 3D art. Okay, that's... Damn, that's trippy. That's... That actually looks cool. Okay, so again, it's just this one room. Uh, I've seen bigger showcases, and I mean, the previous one, Fentanest, was actually, uh, you know, bundled up together and chumped up in one space. This one looks more spaced out, so it makes the room look bigger, but, uh, hmm, a bit unimpressive, actually. But I do like the details on every little thing, like these, like this desk, this desk, these, this, this thing right here, yeah. Pretty good looking showcase, if a bit basic and boring. So, uh, yeah. Not entirely sure what this even is supposed to be, though. Is this like some sort of factory or an apartment building? Oh, maybe it's a warehouse or something. I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah, that was 5 a.m., so let's move on to the next one. Rapture! I am at least 99% sure that this is going to be a Bioshock reference. Oh no, it's unfinished. I should have waited before coming here. But alright, let's see here. Hmm. Let's see. An underwater city with glass domes as hallways. I'm pretty sure this is Bioshock. Is it Bioshock? I mean, you know what? This is pretty much Bioshock. This is literally Bioshock because, you know, it's Rapture and it's an underwater city. That's Bioshock. Anyway, yeah. Ryan. Okay, yep, definitely Bioshock. That's Andrew Ryan. Not a big deal, though. I like Bioshock. I just hate Bioshock Infinity because that game's not Bioshock worth dick. Okay, yeah. The description said that they'll be expanding more, so, uh... I can't wait until this game gets expanded more, but... The last update was in 2017, so I don't think that's gonna work. Anyway, yeah. I do like Bioshock, and I do like the concept of Rapture being an underwater city. Hmm. Alright. That's uh, pretty much it for this showcase. Let's move on to the next one. This last one is AFTER. Let's see, the description says, This was my first showcase, so it's not my best build. Well, alright. Let's see what you got. Okay, so I can't zoom out. The game forces me in first person. That's uh, not usually a bad sign. That just means yeah, it's better immersion. Okay, so let's see. What the fuck? What? Is this King Arthur's house? Why is there just a hallway with the sword in it? What? And it's behind a bookcase? Or it's out of the wardrobe, whatever. That's, uh, I think we may be in Narnia. Okay, so there's that, and then there's, let's see, a bunch of stick figures and drawings. Due to the toys and shit, we can clearly see that this is meant to be a kid's room. Although, how old is this kid? Hmm. Usually, little kids that are young enough to play with Legos aren't old enough to play on computers. Uh, yeah. Anyway, hmm. Let's see, what's in this room? 
Okay, it looks to be a desolate house that's broken down. Let's see. Nipestasephus Hesudia. And everything is on fire. Okay, uh, what the fuck? Not entirely sure what the symbolism here is. Maybe it's supposed to symbolize how you're letting go of childhood. Or something like that. Or maybe it's just a bunch of stuff bunched together. Either way, I do like the appearance of it, but, uh, the whole clutter, all of that shit, uh, makes it very hard to move and, uh, kind of makes the showcase look a bit bad, you know, horrible. Okay, okay, so we can go here. And, uh, I'm not entirely sure what the hell this room is and why it's in a house, but, uh, okay. Anyway, that was Roblox Showcases. I hope you enjoyed this video. Okay, real talk before I actually end this video. Now, see... In 2019, I finally had a realization that most of my videos were quantity over quality. I've just been pumping out like three videos a week and they've all been uninspired and just absolute garbage videos. So due to that, I realized that I'm milking this series. So as a result, I'm going to start doing a lot less slur Robux showcases. While I do like the videos and I do believe that I do p put actual effort into them, I mean, we're on episode 10 right now, so, uh, yeah, it's, uh, kinda been a bit too much. I make, what, like, one of these videos once every month? Maybe once every two months? So, uh, yeah. Don't expect a part 11 anytime soon. I'm still thinking of ideas for this channel. I'm still thinking of ways to improve, and who knows? Maybe the Roblox showcases is exactly what I need, but, you know, I do enjoy art. I do enjoy things that are visually pleasing, so... Yeah, I really love doing Rolex showcases, and I'm definitely going to do some more in the future, but, you know, again, not anytime soon. And anyway, uh, yeah, thanks for watching this video, and I uh, hope to see you soon.